is Gerilyn. I'm a mom of three kids, ages 10, 3, and 1. And I went recently to a homeschool conference in our area with my husband. And I'm going to be sharing some of the different things that I picked up while I was there. I did a kind of curriculum book haul um, a few days ago. And so now I'm just going to be sharing what some of these curriculums look like inside. So I just wanted to do a little flip through of this series first. This is part of the ABC series from Rod and Staff Publishers. And these are some preschool workbooks for your early learner. Um, these came as a full set. I got all of these books together in a pack for 1950 in a bundle for 1950. And the only thing that you would need besides this to do this program um, is this Bible stories book, which is also part of the, the ABC series. And you can purchase this separately. You can also purchase just the um, Bible Stories book and the Bible Pictures to Color booklet um, if you want just this part. So as you can see, the booklets go in alphabetical order. So there's Adventures with Books, Bible Pictures to Color, which goes with that um, Bible Stories to Read. There's Counting with Numbers, Do It Carefully, Everywhere We Go, and Finding the Answers. Okay. We are going to turn the camera around and I will show you what each of these different books has in it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with Adventures with Books. And, and when you first open it up, um, it mentions right here that the instructions for using this book are on page 63 and 64. And so I'm just going to flip back here for a moment. This has kind of about the purpose of this series, how you should use it, how to use a pencil correctly, and how to color correctly. Um, and I did read that um, a lot of what's in here Part of the purpose is to help your child learn how to follow instructions, which I really like. So um, let's go ahead and start back at the beginning of the book. And so there are little um, discussion and directions down at the bottom of each page. So for this first one, kinds of books and their uses, storybooks, songbooks, cookbooks, school books, and catalogs. So you're just talking with your child about what, how do you use those books? What are they for? And then you give them the directions. And all of the um, pages are just black and white. Very simple little activities. Tracing. Cutting and pasting. Some coloring. Learning about shapes and colors. And these are all things that I want to be doing this coming year while my son is three. And like I said, if he's interested in this, great. If he is not, then that's fine too. And we'll just save it for our next daughter. So this just has very simple little pages. This is, um, these are some little farm animals that you would make little puppets out of. Which one's big, bigger, and biggest? Just learning those comparing words. Small, smaller, smallest. So just lots of little activities to do. So that was the A book, Adventures with Books. This book is the Bible Pictures to Color. And these are literally just the same picture as what is in the Bible stories to read. So for instance, the very beginning of this book, 
Here are all the stories. So it starts in the Old Testament. So this is what a day of Bible would look like. So you would um, read the title, you might pull your Bible out and read those um, scriptures, and then you would read the story. There's a little song and questions and answers. And then they have a little Bible verse to learn down here at the bottom. There are 60 lessons. So you could do this over two years, which is probably what I will do. And I will focus on a Bible story for the whole week. And then we will do uh, 30 or so this year. But I thought that would be really good, especially with the um, Bible verse to learn um, so that we could practice some of those verses. But this little, this little booklet starts on number two. So there's not one for the first day, but then this one, God Created the World, has this little picture here, which is the exact same picture as in this book, which says at the bottom, everything God made was good. And that is kind of the gist of the story that day. Then the next time, you would read Adam and Eve Sin. And then here's the picture over here. And it matches exactly what's right here in the storybook. So these are really cute and simple. They're not very um, detailed pictures, which I think will be really good. So here are just a few so that you can see. Now we'll kind of flip to the back where it's the New Testament section. So that was the Bible Pictures to Color book. The next one is Counting with Numbers. So like the other book, the instructions are at the back. And this one just has lots of math related concepts. So you would definitely want to read through all of the teacher instructions before you got started with this. Now this one, I'm not sure that, I think we'll mostly stick to the coloring and cutting and pasting, not so much the writing this year. So this one I will probably save until he's four, unless, like I said, he is extremely interested and wants to do it, which you just never know. So far he's really enjoying math in the sense of playing with math manipulatives. So, um, you just never know. I am definitely not pushing preschool and doing work for sure. So that was the Counting with Numbers book. Now we have Do It Carefully. Talking about shapes and which ones are the same. Tracing. Cutting and pasting. Which one's the same with letter identification. learning letters and how to write the different um, strokes that you would need to learn how to write letters.
I can write my name. This part talks about listening and sounds, what you use to make different sounds. letters so that was do it carefully we have everywhere we go this one starts out with colors numbers So that was everywhere we go. And then the last one is finding the answers. So this is talking about rhyming. Rhyming is a really important pre-reading skill. patterning, what happens next, the order of a story. These are great. Learning how to retell and learning how to um, put things in order. And so that was finding the answers. So thank you so much for coming to see the flip through of this ABC series from Rod and Staff. If you guys have any questions or comments, if or if you have used this curriculum in the past, please let me know. I would love to hear how you used it and how it went for you. Um, I can definitely tell that some of the things in this program are going to be great for this year and several of them I will probably wait to do until next year when my son is four. So um, definitely a great um, series to pick up for preschool. And like I said, you can buy these booklets just individually. Um, at the conference when I was there, they were on sale for $3.75 a piece. And then um, you could buy them for $19.50 as a bundle. You did have to purchase this for a few dollars um, separately, uh, but I got this at a used um, 
curriculum sale. So uh, it's a great series from what I can tell and I know that a lot of people have used it and I'm really hoping that it's a good fit for us. So we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys are all having a great day and we'll see you next time.